Oh. Wow, look at this. I have not been seeing this every day in New York City, but right now, we're in Long Beach, California. All right, let's see if the Bluetooth works. I'm trying to get cranking on them tunes. Also, Haseo. good morning. Welcome to another video. Today is exciting because we're meeting up with Revive Skateboards. Also, tons of things planned for the day, especially buying a lot of new camera equipment. So if you're into that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So here we are. We're gonna start off the day by putting a huge damper on this guy. It's my wallet. But I am actually really excited about having these few new things that I'm grabbing right now. The Mavic Pro. The Mavic Pro. Yeah, I just have it. Okay, cool. Do you guys also have a GoPro Fusion? GoPro Fusion? No, we don't have it. Okay, we're gonna go to Best Buy. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Uh, uh, walking in the store. Walking in the store. Look, there's a door. Oh my gosh, a whole I was just thinking recently, I haven't made a big purchase in a really long time, and today I've spent $2,300. And I was like, huh, I might not make another purchase for a very long time. Are you Jonathan here? I'm Jonathan, yes. Are you attempting a charge at Best Buy? I was. Only 300 and two and 43 cents? That's right, yeah, I just tried it, but it didn't go through. I'm very sorry about that. We just wanted to make sure it is you and not somebody trying to use your card. <laughs> so I tried to use my credit card at first, and since I'm in LA, it got declined. And I look like a loser in front of all- And you just pair it back the same thing. <laughs> meditated a little bit, but as I was driving, I saw Andy Schrock, Duck Desitels, Poop Unicycle, and a lot of awesome people. So I actually haven't met some of the dudes I'm meeting up with right now. So I'm super excited, I can already hear loud skateboarding noises. Never mind. That's not a skateboard. Who's this silhouette? What up? How are you, brother, man? It's been a long time, man. It's been so long. How's this trip been going so far? Hot. Steven, it's good to see you again in such a short time. Sure. Yeah. How are you, brother man? Coast to coast, baby. Oh, you know how we live up in this. Hey, what's up? Look who just joined the day. Hey, dude, how are what's you? Up, brother? Come here. Oh, hey, brother. Six more tries for ten bucks. I five. What? Five. <laughs> oh, five. Sorry. <laughs> My buddy. I'll put Dude. five in too. Five tries. All right. Now ten bucks. Oh, it just man. bounces. Oh! oh! You. <laughs> he got so mad. How many tries you got left? He's got one. That's it? Wait, was one? You have one try left. Was that nine? <laughs> oh. I hate this. Oh, this wouldn't work with it. Look at that. Use I'm your like, words. I'm killing it. Andy's hunger is a boner. We should build bottle flip parks. The way he's the bottle flip. Title right there. I don't know, dude. I mean, the one that that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dude. Holden, don't jump. My video. Alright, there's like a build right there, dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a road. One left. Oh, okay, sick. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You're just sitting next to me, John? I guess so. I'm okay with you sitting next to me. Thanks. By the way, a few people didn't know this, but I'm actually a professional skateboarder yes, for a are. company called Revive Skateboards. And for Ryan started it. I did start it. Right, and Force Wheels. And Force Wheels. Which is this whole group, and the, the people we're skating with today is all Force Wheels. Mm -hmm. Filming for a tour video. Uh huh. 
And uh, yeah, it's gonna be extremely awesome. Also, a lot of skateboarders probably don't know this, but I was gonna ask about Revive, mm -hmm. and sort of how, what your role is at Revive and how it started. Let's kind of break it down. Yeah, break so, it down how, like, yeah. How so there was a skateboard company called Revenge Skateboards back in the day. And Revenge was a teeny tiny little skateboard company that started to grow, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, Andy Schrock started it, he's my business partner now. But once it began to grow, he was like, I need some help. So I've known Andy for a very long time, and so he contacts me, he was like, hey, you wanna help me run this skateboard company and do this thing? And right. I'm like, yes, absolutely. So, uh, long story short, we changed the name from Revenge Skateboards to Revive Skateboards, maybe, I don't even know, it's been like six or seven years ago now, I don't huh. know. A, a good amount of time now. And it's been growing and doing its thing, but, uh, but generally speaking, Andy, uh, he's, does a lot of like the content, the YouTube, the promotional side of it, and then I I run like the the nuts and bolts, like gotcha. physically order product and talk to the, the the manufacturers to get the wheels made, the boards made, and the apparel made. And the you manage the made. employees as well, too, and right? I manage the employees and all that kind of stuff. So Andy's like all the, the business, yeah. So I, Andy's like the creative side, and I'm like the business side of it. Can you just sit next to Brian? <laughs> Yeah, what do you got? What do you got up your sleeve? I'm just gonna prank you guys, all right, dude? No, I'm not. It, I'm basically asking about revive. Is your head gonna come up from the back? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, Andy. Yeah. Hi. I was wondering when you started revive. Did you think it was gonna do what it did, or what was your full expectations for the company when it started? Uh, no, I didn't take it seriously. Really? Should I look at here, or you? What do I look I'm at? I'm staying the camera. It was called Revenge at the time. Mm -hmm. That's right. What I could. And I, and then when, because I didn't think that I could start something that would. Uh, that people would care about. So I was just doing it for my subscribers at the time, and then it kept selling out, and I was like, oh, this is clearly, like, this could be a thing. Were they asking you to start a company, too, initially? No, I think I just, like, brought up the idea one time, casually. They are asking me to make boards. Yeah, they asked me to make boards, and, um, and then they kept asking, and then I was like, okay, sure, let's do it. And then when I thought that it could be an actual thing, I contacted you, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, I, I don't want to do this by myself, and I trust you, so I got you. And you said yes. And then in my head after that, I was like, if we ever have a, a warehouse, like a small warehouse where we could skate a box on the ground, then I'll feel like I I took this far as like farther than I thought. I, I'd be like, that is a success to me. We did Why that. revenge? Uh, because it starts with the um, the video is called Skate Revenge, and that was the idea was um, like everyone's like goes through the normal process in life. Like you you go to high school, you go to college, you get a job, and then at that point you just like. A lot of people end up like not kind of doing what they want to do in life often. They just accept a job and that's the new phase of their life. And so Skate Revenge was like, all right, we're at that point, like after college where like we should be getting careers, but we're still going to skateboard and do this and get revenge on the traditional life. As cheesy as that oh, sounds, nice. that's the way, that's, the, we kind of like joked about it. It wasn't like as cheesy as that actually word for word sounds. Right. So then the, the behind the scenes stuff was called We Want Revenge. And then the whole revenge theme just kept happening. So when we were going to do boards, it was like revenge. Revenge skateboards. That's amazing. That's so the, we are yeah. revenge was before revenge skateboards. Yeah, it was skate revenge, oh. and then the behind the scenes was we are revenge, and then revenge skateboards came from that. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Now, where am I gonna get paid for being in your video? I'll give you. Uh, oh, stop it. You got it. You just keep my next check. I'm sorry, officer. We're trying to skate here, so you're gonna have to move your car. Did you guys ask this guy to leave already? Yeah. Yeah, we told me to get one more try. Okay, cool. One more, and you're out of here. Okay. Did ruin that shot. Beautiful, John Hill. Beautiful. This did not work out. I didn't land the trick I wanted. My face is yeah. too bright. And Brian Ams and I are about to film a channel, a video for his channel, where we're gonna eat something really spicy. But luckily I had Chipotle, so my bowels are already destroyed. But henceforward, more destroyed. Oh my god. Ah! 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 <sighs> okay, so this happened. It's I'll, go, okay. I'll go like that. Not a one to ten. How hot is it, John? That was pretty. That was like an eight. If you are familiar with Brian's channel, you eat very, very, very spicy things. The spiciest things on earth, and then you get a reaction out of it. And, uh. <laughs>
Yeah, I threw up. So John went to the bathroom. I think Time, he's either two. throwing up or pooping. We need something impressive while John is in the bathroom. Can you do something, Holden? I could play with I could play with my nibs. <laughs> I feel like I was die trying to That was actually pretty awesome, I don't know. So Jason, like 10. do you want to say something to John while he's in the bathroom suffering? And then another three minutes. But what else can you say, really? Yeah. Doug, do you want to say anything That's to John while he's in the bathroom? I'm yeah. sorry. I love those guys, but I still have a lot to do. Progress daily. Lots of focus on that. I'm building out the entire brand right now. There's so much reconstructing that I have to do. So I'm getting Starbucks, hibernate, and work on the things. I love it. It Honestly, it's so fun to me. I always talk about like, I have to go sit and work. It's like my favorite thing in the world. All my work is sort of play right now, and uh, I think that's what it should be. Anyways, I got a little bit done. It was like 45 minute window, and I tried my dangest, and right now it's the creative work, so it feels like you almost don't get anything done but that 45 minutes of just beating your head in like this hoping something comes out is worth it you got to go through it anyways but you already know <sighs> I am so excited about putting this food inside of my belly and hopefully pooping all the spicy stuff that I ate out earlier but Get to work. Okay, I think I need to admit defeat. It's been a productive day, it's been a long day, it's been a great day, but as I was working on the podcast, as I was getting it ready to go, I basically have to ship it to some uh, company so that they can distribute it among, among, amongst all the podcasts, iTunes, etc., 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 which is super, I'm, I'm stoked, man, I'm stoked. But I do feel a little ill-prepared, but one thing that I've been trying to do more lately is ship faster. And ironically, on YouTube, all I've really been watching is people like Seth Godin and Naval Ravikant talk. But a quote came up by Seth Godin that I did want to read at the end of the night, maybe to inspire you a little bit as you move out through your day, but it's some people have figured out how to be naturally more productive than others per minute, and the way to do that is by having an instinct to ship. He's basically saying that people will justify not shipping because they're constantly talking about having the perfect, polished form of whatever they're creating. Now a lot of people will call themselves perfectionists, but they still have the ability to ship things out. I think Peter McKinnon, the guy in my first podcast, is that way. Everything he ships out is so well done. But I know that Peter McKinnon himself probably has 20 to 30 things per vlog that he could say he wish he could have added, but he still ships it out. Now, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I forget that sometimes a lot of people want to do YouTube. They want to do a lot of things that maybe some of my friends and I sometimes get to do. <coughs> And a lot of that just stems from us being like, boom, pull the trigger, let's go, and we'll see what happens. If it is a failure, you know quicker how to fix the problem to move forward. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video there. I'm sure this is long, 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 and guys, if you do enjoy it, let me know down below. Let me know if you enjoy seeing the whole day as it goes along, because it is fun for me to come up with stories as I go throughout the day. I just love making content. I think it's really, really fun, and uh, it's, it's such an exciting time in my life right now that I feel like I wanna have this for the future self and for anyone who maybe can get a little inspiration from it so if you're not already subscribed to this channel please go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell comment let's have a conversation because uh, I write when my videos go up I comment back and forth and uh, like the video as well and three videos a week is what I'm doing right now and I hope you enjoy also subscribe to the podcast check out progressdaily.earth all the good stuff there's just content flying all the different directions the whole goal is just to inspire you guys to become leaders and move forward in what you want to do guys I love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing us.